to move to the second speaker for Zhao Wei. Yeah, are you prepared ready to introduce her? Yeah, thank you for Alice. So, uh, Rob, we, we all is a professor at the Technical Institute of Physics and Chemistry, TIPC, Chinese Academy of Science. Dr. Ao's research is highly interdisciplinary and covers the material science of liquid metal and micro nano materials. Dr. Ao was the recipient of a foreign talent program by TIPC and the Beijing Youth Talent Support Program. Dr. Rao's team was awarded for transfer of scientific and technological achievements. At present, Dr. Rao is the deputy director of K Laboratory of Cryogenic Engineering, Chinese Academy of Science, and a fellow of Beijing Refrigeration Society. So, Dr. Rao, I pass over the stage for you. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's really a great um, pleasure for me to make a presentation in ICANX Talk. Thanks for the warm invitation from Professor Zhang. Uh, okay, my presentation is about flexible liquid metal materials based hard technology. I'm Wei Rao from Technical Institute of Physics and Chemistry. And uh, I am also a member of liquid metal lab uh, in School of Future Technology, a University of the Chinese Academy of Science, which was set up in 2016. Yeah. So on behalf of my team, I would like to introduce a liquid metal related progress in the uh, last several years. So uh, I, um, I'm gonna introduce my talk from six uh, aspects. So first, uh, first, first uh, let's make a brief uh, look, uh, look at the uh, liquid metals. So as the name implies, liquid metal uh, means the metals in liquid state. And uh, a room temperature liquid metals, uh, actually they are a very large class of new functional materials with low or melting points around the room temperature. Typically, uh, they are getting our bismuth best. Um, also these times of liquid metal, uh, they were not discovered for the first time, but uh, in recent years, they came from the tremendous discovery of uh, contains novel physical or chemical properties that have not been recognized before. Uh, so as to the uh, second best looking metal materials, uh, they have a low uh, viscosity uh, when it's similar of when water. And uh, among the uh, fluid uh, materials, the general best liquid metal, they show uh, the highest uh, electrical and thermal conductivity. And uh, they also have a, a very wide range of temperature, uh, from room temperature to more than uh, 200, uh, uh, to 2000 degrees, they uh, hit the liquid state. More importantly, com in compared to the mercury, they are very uh, stable and uh, have a very higher com fire compatibility. Yes, so we can use it uh, in the um, experiment. And we uh, also did some work to further uh, uh, modify the liquid metal to further improve their physical and uh, chemical property. Uh, for example, by adding some nanoparticles with, with even higher electrical conductivity to the liquid metal matrix, we can obtain liquid metal nanofluidics with better thermal or uh, electrical properties. Uh, by, by the particle uh, synchronization into uh, gallium alone, we can obtain new alloy materials. In addition, controllable integration of liquid particles with functional materials such as polymer could significantly show the intrinsic properties of, uh, of liquid metal as designed, for example, to uh, 
to um, to uh, fabricate some surgical lithium metal uh, elastomer, or we can also develop uh, some novel reversible transitional and desalinator and conductor. Uh, yes. So with these novel materials, we can achieve some uh, some uh, great and uh, some challenging, uh, even some com complex uh, applications. And for uh, for research and uh, applications, interface uh, issues is always a very important important uh, problem for liquid metal because uh, this type of liquid have a very high sophistication. Uh, with about 700 micro uh, uh, mm per um, per m. So um, if we, for most of uh, for most of the substrate, thick metal show very poor reactivity. So if we want to do uh, uh, more applications, we need to uh, regulation their uh, reactivity. So uh, we. We do some work uh, by regulating the ratio of the oxidized layer uh, through adding some uh, metal or inorganic particles into the uh, uh, gallon uh, gallon alloy uh, matrix. We can got some uh, semi metal um, material system. So when this uh, material system, their contact angle can uh, achieve. Uh, from the uh, more than 90, uh, 90 degrees to, uh, to zero degrees. As to the normal liquid metal particles, we also uh, need to do some modification. Uh, because of the large surface tension, uh, one of the challenges is to prevent the aggregation of nanoscale drop, uh, droplets in various uh, solutions. So typically, um, two main methods uh, were used. One is use the uh, oxidized uh, layer uh, to uh, work as a barrier. And the other is to use the uh, various type of surfactants uh, um, to work as a barrier um, layer. So both of these methods will reduce the, uh, the, the chemical, um, electrical chemical character of the uh, especially for the uh, gallium engine alone. So uh, we do some uh, we do some work by use the inter uh, interaction between uh, the uh, graphene and the gallium engine uh, alloy. We have uh, effectively inhibit the oxidation on the surface of uh, liquid metal or nano um, droplet and. Uh, this uh, nanoparticle system can keep uh, the intact electrochemical uh, characteristic of, of the metal. And we can do some uh, government replacement. We can do some uh, the electrochemical uh, detection. Uh, with these modifications, currently, gallium uh, or, or bismuth uh, bismuth that liquid metal have been widely used in thermal management, in printed uh, electronics, in biomedicine, and uh, in smart robotics. So uh, next, uh, I'm gonna um, make a detailed uh, introduction to this four um, aspects. Uh, because our background is so engineering, so I would like to start the story uh, with uh, some management. Uh, management. So, uh, as we know, to solve the thermal barrier problem of the higher performance or integrated uh, chips, an effective cooling method is always in higher demand. Compared to water, the thermal conductivity of the uh, detected uh, gallium engine alone is about 50 times um, um, higher than that of water. And the conductive uh, heat transfer coefficient of liquid metal at the laminar low in the circular tube is about uh, six times. Um, 
due to the uh, wider liquid metal working uh, uh, range, uh, the liquid metal cooling system is stable and safe even the running temperature more than 100 degrees. At uh, that condition, the water-based system will uh, sometimes will uh, uh, explode or um, have some unsafe uh, phenomena. And for liquid metal system, they can be driven by a electromagnetic pump. So uh, the cooling system can run with no noise. So therefore, among various cooling systems, such as natural cooling, air cooling, uh, water cooling, so um, for liquid metal cooling, they are uh, more suitable for the higher power or higher heat flux uh, object. So uh, last year, we went developed a, a liquid metal microchannel cooling system to solve a, a, a laser system. So this is system have a 2000 watt and the with the uh, heat density with 400 watt per square and centimeters. Um, and this, uh, this cooling system can achieve a very small thermal resistance. resistance. And in the last 10 years, we developed the real types of uh, liquid metal uh, conductive cooling system for LED cooling, for uh, chip cooling, and uh, also we developed some uh, self cooling uh, system or geofluidic uh, system. And uh, the chip cooling, uh, this type of application has already been uh, commercialized several years ago. In addition to conventional semantic coding, and another uh, application used in liquid metal is the use the phase chain uh, characteristic. You know, uh, this uh, phase chain materials, uh, we call it PCM for short, they have been uh, used widely in various applications for energy storage. And uh, compared to organic PCMs, uh, inorganic PCMs, metal uh, PCMs such as uh, silicon or bismuth based, they have a, a small uh, uh, explosion and they have a very uh, higher thermal conductivity. So their uh, general performance uh, actually is, is very good. And the question, 100 uh, watt heat flux density, the heat source temperature can maintain below uh, 50 degrees. And uh, even for 1,000 watts, uh, the, with the uh, phase in change of materials, uh, with the melting point at 74.5, they can run, the, the whole system can run for more than 20 minutes without any other uh, assistance. So we have already uh, developed the different kind of the PCMs um, based on the liquid metal. So except for the conductive and uh, um, connected in conductive cooling and uh, uh, that can be um, materials. Liquid metal uh, that's the thermal um, interface materials also show different super, um, superior performance. So when the heat blast uh, about 500 watts per square centimeters, so we can say uh, the liquid metal um, teams when the higher thermal conductivity, they show better uh, temperature homogeneous um, Effect compared to the silicon grade grids when the gold nanoparticles or silicon grids when the graphene uh, particles. We also developed some liquid metal electrical insulating and the thermal conductive uh, teams. And uh, we also found uh, the nano liquid metal fillers uh, compared to the micro liquid metal filler. We can spend uh, more focused uh, compressive. Good 
without any liquid metal uh, leakage. And uh, uh, for the two deep, different time of the liquid metal gas tombs, we have already developed uh, some um, products and uh, part of the products are being used in the LED expansion. Um, so um, because uh, we do a lot of work um, before we turn to other um, directions, so during we do some uh, the thermal uh, management experiment, we found some uh, interesting um, phenomena. When the liquid metal drops, we found uh, during the experiment, when the liquid metal drops uh, slapped onto the experimental bench, um, if we try to use some light to erase the liquid metal, we found if without any echo or any uh, the uh, the liquid metal residue is very difficult to uh, to clean, and uh, most of the time, if you just use some light, you will um, start a uh, liquid metal online on the bench. So our team uh, think maybe this uh, uh this continuous line they can be used for some uh, the for, for printing because this light still keeps the thermal uh, keep the uh, elect electrical conductivity. So that's the that's the idea why the liquid metal gas printer printed the electronic electronics come from. So um, compared to the conventional chemical uh, separation uh, method, we Think the liquid metal electronic ink and the related printing technology may provide an innovative idea for the uh, faster uh, on site manufacturing. So we know the, the conventional printing method, there are more than 10 uh, steps, and uh, usually they are uh, time and level consuming. Um, the number of uh, silver or, or uh, Copper based printed uh, electronic method uh, actually they improve um, um, the, the conventional, conventional method uh, much um, uh, largely. Um, but for this uh, printing method, uh, usually post treatment such as simply or heating is uh, heating more than 100 temperature, uh, 100 degree is required. And uh, because this uh, printing ink have a the particle is there deep first um, on the substrate. So their uh, stretchability is mm, not very good. But with the liquid metal uh, printed uh, technology, we can get to the circuit in one step and no post treatment is necessary. And uh, because uh, there are uh, con continuous uh, electrical conductivity in so they always show very good stretch and stretchability. And uh, most importantly, we can get a, a one a layer uh, PCB circuit within 10 minutes, 10 minutes by this uh, table on um, liquid metal printer. And uh, uh, here is a video to show these two printing systems different. And uh, Currently, the minimum light width and light version of the liquid metal gas printing we can obtain is 100 micrometer. Um, but this total liquid metal uh, printing system, they have a selectivity to the substrate. So we usually use PV, uh, PVC uh, substrate. If we want to transfer it to the uh, some more flexible substrate, um, such as uh, PDMS, we usually use the uh, free space conversion method to, uh, to, to do the fabrication of the flexible electronic devices. So to further develop liquid metal universal printing electronic device, um, it is uh, necessary to develop a new uh, modality. And uh, 
in our experiment, we found if the liquid metal droplet uh, very uh, to the substrate with, with a smaller size, and uh, they will have a uh, much more compact area to the substrate. And uh, in addition, if the uh, velocity of the uh, liquid metal droplet uh, increase, their uh, oxidized adhesion um, will, will be further strengthened. So by this design principle, we uh, developed, uh, we use a model of uh, yeah, to inject the liquid metal in to the open air and uh, a natural uh, uh, oxidized layer will be formed on the surface of the liquid metal droplet. And uh, by this way, we can, uh, we can separate the liquid metal in onto uh, various uh, various substrates such as uh, leaf, uh, paper, and uh, uh, glass, and uh, uh, and so on. Yeah, almost all the substrates it can work. And uh, uh, this the uh, this typical system I mentioned just now, we both uh, background gathering uh, um, along, and uh, before. Before the circuit application, we usually need to do some checking, yeah, to check the impact of the circuit. So we further thinking maybe we could use some uh liquid metal with a higher melting point, such as Gibbs best uh liquid metal. So um we yeah so. With this uh, method, uh, it, the, the, the ink can solidify the uh, immediately when deposited on the substrate, uh, even at the room temperature. And uh, no additional post treatment is required uh, after printing. And uh, uh, the fabrication of the double, uh, double layer uh, circuit that's on Christmas alone is rap rapidly conducted. So here we show, show the flow. We, we do the printing on one layer and uh, we do some, we need some uh, middle layer here and uh, align heating and the way uh, shading here by between these two layers. And uh, finally, we do the wire filling. I think uh, here, I, I would like to mention that the, the filling material and uh, the printed material. We, uh, we, what we use are both uh, business best. So that means we use the same material to achieve, uh, uh, to achieve uh, printing and the connection. And uh, currently, the minimum uh, wide uh, width we can achieve is just uh, 33 micrometers uh, without the highest resolution printing technique to get the business best along. So this New method offers more, um, it's more simple, uh, simple and uh, more practical and uh, functional um, diversal yeah, in, in the electronic uh, fabrication. And uh, I think we can do some uh, the double layer uh, circuit fabrication with a more straightforward than yeah, here is uh, uh, actually in this. In this system, we uh, use uh, the the room uh, the the filling uh, with net as a center, and uh, this uh, this PCB was conducted by the digital uh, printer. So this two uh, with this two uh, this is the center, and this is the uh, circuit. We we can do some human and machine interface um, communication. Yeah, and. Uh, we have already developed the business best uh, liquid metal printer, and now this equipment is being uh, commercialized. And uh, uh, next, we aim to solve, um, we want to further improve the, um, the rapid response of the, of the printing of probability. Uh, Whatever the selling uh, printer or the business uh, best printer, uh, their 
um, Franklin Messler that says the, uh, about a pointing, pointing frame painting. So the reach of the painting is still limited. If we want to do some large scale painting, and uh, we need to we need to do some new work. Yeah. So here we show uh, uh, the smart painting. So firstly, we put the uh, subject into a common letter uh, a object a printer and uh, into the background. And secondly, we put the frame painted uh, subject into a Yellow painter with the uh, semi liquid metal with a high, uh, higher attention. Yeah. And uh, because the liquid metal has a selectivity to the uh, to the uh, DAC subject and the, to the, the carbon background, so we can achieve the, uh, we can, by the attention selection, we can achieve the uh, central print printing. Then for even for uh, A4 size, um, uh, if all size footage, we can get it in several seconds. So this means um, the production efficiency can be improved nearly 1,000 times. And at the same time, the system can realize the production of flexible uh, footage on a wide uh, surface. Uh, next, we aim to solve the same printing problems. Existing 3D printing technology usually cannot print structure components and the electronic circuits devices at the same time. So, in order to break through the multifunctional uh, application of fabrication and components of the traditional 3D printing uh, product, uh, our team developed the liquid metal as the 3D printing technology. So we use the multi-mode uh, multi-decomposition printing technology and uh, to try to solve the problem uh, of the compatibility between plastic and the liquid metal uh, materials. So a 3D composite printing system, uh, this one is based on uh, uh, ABS plastic and the liquid metal. Um, yeah, there's these two materials printing uh, at the same time. Uh, was developed to meet the 3D printing requirement of various electromechanical products. In addition to the various printing device, we also developed a portable a e paper. So it too is fabricated through simple mixing with nanoparticles from cellular nanocrystal and the, the um, polyvinyl. Uh, at cost expansion. So, uh, because this two materials do have a different density, so following the self assembly density decomposition without any interface and uh, equipment assistance, so finally we can get a, a micro scale of uh, uh, film, and this film uh, we can see from this picture the carbon and the oxidized the locus. Uh, located at the upper surface and the gallon and the indian located at the uh, the bottom surface this means the upper uh, the upper layer is not conductive and the bottom layer they can conductive uh, they can achieve conductivity by uh, by the shear friction yeah and uh, uh, by this uh, genus uh, film the minimum for wide width we can achieve is 0.5 micrometer. So this unique substrate ink integrated the nature of the liquid and metal genus steel and uh, uh, with the shear friction in enabled the direct writing technology provide a very new uh, approach even for the field man manufacturing of the um, customized electronics, and uh, we can also uh, do the one step fabrication of multi layer circuits and also some uh, high performance uh, computer. And with this film, uh, we can use some uh, circuits in order to change the line function. And uh, an interesting 
uh, model is we also develop the RTA and after that training model. Yeah, so uh, with this kind of film, if the uh, uh, main conductor they want to do training uh, themselves, uh, the instruction set, they can use this, uh, this device to train themselves. And uh, this uh, light can tell the doctor uh, which uh, desk position they are located. Um, as I saw in our bow, uh, with this implementation technology, we can build uh, into, uh, into, uh, intelligent dispatch, um, carried out with some human computer interaction information and transmission, and uh, we can build some uh, flexible folding screen. In addition, uh, this implementation technology can also uh, play an important role in education. Uh, because even primary school students, they can do some operation uh, after class. And uh, because, because the operation is very easy, so um, students can recognize and personalize the electronic circuits um, in, at any time, at any uh, uh, location. In addition, um, just like Professor we mentioned just now, so, um, based on the incremental um, serve as a bridge between the induction uh, recognition and uh, it is necessary to uh, attach to various uh, hard or flexible uh, subjects for information transmission and the reception. So, we can, um, we can uh, build a bridge. Um, between the infection recognition and the information interaction. So um, such technology and improvement from the proposal of the um, and uh, to the development and, and the research of the related, related devices was first uh, completely uh, finished by the chemist. Um so more close clients, um, I would like to say the liquid metal, we can also do some uh, cultural and art um, integration. This uh, stuff can be printed by liquid metal printer, uh, and uh, this uh, stuff looks very vivid and beautiful. We can print and draw a uh, world famous printing and uh, customized printing based on Little metal ink on various uh, subjects uh, in one step, realize the integration of science and art. Okay, so in the next uh, um, aspect, I want to talk about little metal materials. Actually, we do this part of work um, as uh, it's intentionally in and hard possible. Because as we know, uh, some fine materials we use uh, polymer uh, or solid, uh, uh, solid, uh, solid uh, metal, or some uh, compass, um, and uh, we do have uh, their um, shortcomings. For example, the solid uh, metal they have uh, good, um, good um, electric uh, electric conductivity, but uh, they cannot, they are not uh, full of flexibility, which is um, not consistent with the, the, the biological systems. And uh, some classical, uh, some classical electro light solutions own perfect uh, flexibility, but their um, elect elect electrical conductivity appears uh, rather low, which evidently, um, which uh, restricts their uh, utility. Uh, um, they are using um, is, uh, especially to control some medical device. So, um, as another point, liquid metal they have a good um, thermal and uh, um, electrical conductivity. They have a good fluidity. Uh, they they can they even can 
to the quick uh, transition from liquid to solid, uh, or from solid to uh, to to liquid when the uh, when the heating and the cooling is very easy. So we think maybe and uh, also getting that uh, uh, liquid metal and the business and others they do have a small uh, small uh, property. So we using a liquid metal maybe uh, another uh, choice for buyer and materials. So uh, in our study, we uh, three times of the uh, liquid metal uh, were widely used. And uh, we are certain that, certain that, certain uh, that, and uh, if they um, do have a, uh, and this metal, uh, this form, this kind of the metal into the uh, single substance, multi element line, and the multi layer composite material. At, at present, this material can be used as the imaging enhancer to achieve vascular imaging. And the drug um, it can be used as drug carriers to achieve public delivery. And it can be used as photothermal converting agents and the uh, laser enhancers of laser infection sanitizers uh, to achieve daytime treatment of energy uh, medicine. So, from the um, for the uh, shooting back to the method, from the personal, why we um, Propose this idea because uh, several years ago we realized um, the current uh, energy delivery method, for example, the electromagnetic field or ultrasound, when we uh, deliver energy from outside um, to the, um, the, the, the human body inside, we will uh, lost a lot of uh, we will lost a lot of energy because of the low transmission efficiency, and uh, most time we will do some identity to the healthy tissues. So, so we would like to produce an instant method of uh, tumor, um, the energy uh, energy medicine method. So we use a uh, uh, high locally thermal uh, chemical ablation uh, between the sodium metals and uh, the water in the capital uh, tumor. So we can, by this uh, simple uh, reaction, we can achieve a very uh, higher uh, temperature than we get the the, the good thermal uh, in we get the thermal uh, high thermal uh, ablation and the the products we can um, further to to apply the, the chemical ablation and uh, for this kind of study uh, we have a uh, completed the research from principle uh, and uh, to the, the device, uh, yes, to different kind of device. And uh, we also get a uh, thermal chemical population integrated system. And this system has uh, already uh, completed the test, uh, the type, uh, the type test, yeah, several years ago. And in addition to thermal therapy, in terms of high ablation control, we have uh, um, verified the influence of the physical properties of nanoparticles on the nucleation free energy through uh, theoretical, um, the theoretical models. And uh, we obtained the, the common law of the influence of nanoscale functional materials on ice um, nucleation. Under the guidance of this law, we found the the flexible uh, liquid metal nanoparticles with smaller size and with less surface uh, free energy in compared to some um, uh, some uh, some food or other um, yeah, solid liquid uh, nanoparticles. They are uh, unsolvable for physical um, nucleation. That means this uh, type of nanoparticles is, is more suitable for um, type preservation. And the, uh, at the context, some uh, uh, some metals with some salt and some liquid uh, nanoparticles with a higher surface uh, free energy and uh, in higher size, they may be uh, more suitable for um, trial 
population. Yeah. And uh, uh, for plant conservation, we also propose to use uh, nano uh, uh, nanolit metal as uh, uh, the heat um, transfer uh, enhancer to improve the the, the warming rate uh, of the biological sample, which can achieve a uh, better survival rate. And we also propose to, uh, to use uh, liquid metal test yeah, to, uh, to achieve uh, a more homogeneous uh, temperature distribution. And uh, in the warming process, we use liquid metal packet or nanoparticle. Um, by this method, we can do the pi uh, in, we can do the pi ablation uh, without any uh, damage yet. We can, we can achieve a uh, a non invasive uh, cold combination, heating and freezing uh, combination um, in by this uh, special material. And uh, uh, use the flexible conformation of liquid metal between the solid and the liquid. Uh, then the, the bone trans transportation will be not to bring any harm to the patient. So we uh, completing the bismuth based uh, liquid metal uh, um, outside the human body, then do the, um, the, the, the bone repair just by uh, uh, the micro needle injection at the specific site. And uh, this method, um, I think we uh, uh, have some. Um, Innovation for the, the bone repair, and uh, we also test uh, uh, the material free in characterization and uh, compared to the traditional materials. We do have a similar mechanics and uh, uh, characteristics, and uh, we also did a long term um, biocompatibility test, and uh, around the pixelation area, there is uh, no inflammatory. Um, and another work is about liquid metal as the uh, embolization um, therapy. So uh, the idea is to use the yeah, two injection needle or one field of um, um, calcium um, chloride and the other with the liquid metal. And the, this, with these two needles uh, injected at the packet site, uh, this two materials can form with the metal plasma element hard gel. And uh, with the hard gel formation, they can achieve a, a very good uh, embolization factor to make the blood and coherent rate you know, to, to, to reduce to zero. And uh, we also did some uh, biocompatibility. Uh, test and the uh, anti tumor uh, embolization uh, therapy also shows have a very good effect. So, currently, liquid metal flexible electronics uh, based protein sensors set are being used in um, brain, uh, uh, brain clinical experiments. And the liquid metal um, bondage uh, has entered the clinical trials, and our team. Also, have uh, developed uh, various liquid metal exoskeleton for fracture fixation. So, the last part is about liquid metal fracture machine. Actually, this uh, about the machine uh, phenomenon was uh, discovered in a uh, uh, biological experiment. So, in the uh, nerve, uh, nerve uh, connecting experiment, when we use the uh, Liquid metal um, electrolyte and uh, the electrode in the biological um, system, we found that the liquid metal droplet they can move directly uh, to certain time with the guidance of the electrode. So when we um, put these three factors into a more open uh, transparent container, we can see the, uh, the phenomena more clearly. And uh, um, by the elect 
electric electric electricity field control, we can find that the liquid metal robots can realize the change of static to surface area within uh, one thousand times. And as shown in the video, under the control of the electrical field, the two dimensions two-dimensional spread a liquid metal field and gather into a three-dimensional doublet in a few seconds, uh, which can easily realize the conversion between different um, conformations. And this uh, information uh, can be achieved reversible by electricity and the chemical uh, uh, environment regulation. So uh, when the uh, this metal uh, was put in the uh, acid or alkaline solution, uh, and the solution will have removed the oxidized of the liquid metal droplet, and the liquid metal droplet intended to form a uh, sphere, yeah, to produce a sphere um, morphology. When the electricity from the uh, um, Come on. The oxidized layer on the droplet will form. So the the droplet will uh, will uh, will tend to flatten. And uh, when the electricity was uh, turned off, the oxidized layer will be removed by the um, acid or alkali environment. So uh, because of the high intensity, we will come back to uh, a sphere. And uh, in addition to the information, uh, the different method of it can also uh, achieve information uh, and uh, and uh, the the the, the directional movement moment at the same time. Okay, even uh, with a uh, uh, with a uh, um, with a very narrow um a very uh, uh, narrow space, we can um, penetrate. Yeah, from one side to another side. In addition to uh, in addition to the electrical um, regulation, we also find magnetic control. So here uh, we can see under the control of the um, of the magnetic field the. Uh, the the liquid metal robot uh, can we unlike a rigid uh, magnetic we can uh, we can achieve the information uh, easily and uh, we can uh, even can uh, perform and do, uh, construct the polarity at zero which shows more possibilities of flexible magnetic materials. Under the non-contact control of thermal field, such as infrared laser, this method can realize uh, expansion deformation at a fixed uh, position. In addition, the balance of objects uh, constructed by a liquid metal robot can spread and deform at will. Like a living light. And when, when the further evolution, we found that this metal, after eating aluminum, can rotate automatically for more than one hour, uh, even without any external uh, power, uh, like a small motor. In this process, the liquid metal uh, actually is not consumed. Uh, the liquid metal play a role as a catalyst. Interesting. We also observe this kind of information machine can not only in the free space but also can move forward in the various uh, structural channels, even adding to uh, according to the width of the channel, we can see that there is a slight of course when turning the corner and uh, just like um, people are thinking what the Direction um, to move the next time. And the liquid metal droplet injected into electrolyte solution will show a series of uh, interesting um, behavior, such as the uh, attraction, building, rebound, 
uh, document and the combination and the con converted the percentage into a uh, size uh, between different steps and the speeds according to the needs. So the smart robotic system usually uh, consisted of soft and uh, rigid materials such as human beings. The discovery of the different metal combination machine um, actually is an uh, accident. <laughs> uh, when the treated copper wire uh, touched the liquid metal uh, droplet um, with uh, aluminum, we found the copper wire will be quickly swallowed by the liquid metal. And then it will make a long time shadow moment on the liquid metal uh, droplet. And uh, just like a plain uh, wire link. Yeah. And uh, here, the altercation behavior actually it can be uh, regulated. Yeah. Uh, by adding, um, by adding uh, external fuel uh, um, standard, uh, yes, this one. By, by this uh, standard fuel wine, uh, touch the surface of the liquid metal, the oxidation behavior, uh, their frequency, and their uh, attitude will be regulated. We know that the most effective characteristics of life are um, the authenticity and the user like the heart. So this kind of uh, setting forth of the patient behavior will bring us more strengthening of the motion life. And uh, as a basic unit of life, uh, the under status uh, effect we know most of the cells have this uh, um, have this um, effect. Um, and uh, the liquid metal um, we can also swallow uh, copper micro nano particles on their surface by the regulation of the electricity field or by the regulation of the wide micro environment to adjust the pH uh, of the environment we can also achieve the increased phenomenon. And uh, yeah, uh, once it comes to biomimetics, uh, we know uh, many molecules that are good at camouflage, uh, different skin colors, uh, and with the environmental color skin. And uh, we, we found this uh, metal um, camouflage um, phenomenon in you know, a very accident uh, experimental. Yeah, in the detonation, uh, in the self driven uh, detonation experiment, uh, we uh, added more aluminum to the liquid metal surface than we found this uh, change color phenomenon. So, by this experiment, we found uh, the substrate is important for the, um, for the color, um, for the color um, formation. And uh, we found the uh, um, by the, uh, the carbon substrate, here um, um, some large scattering or large absorption pattern happens. And we found this hidden uh, color related closely to the thickness of the oxidized uh, and oxidized layer of the liquid droplet. So we further use liquid uh, with the electric field to control uh, the the oxidized layer at different positions. So by this uh, regulation, we can achieve different uh, oxidized layer thickness. Um, and uh, this and uh, the different thickness of uh, oxidized layer, they change the, the light path and uh, from the film uh, into into film. And the family we get rainbow light, uh, liquid metal structure color. Uh, so, uh, currently, the liquid metal doublet can be controlled by electronic uh, um, electronic field, uh, magnetic field, uh, light, uh, thermal, and uh, chemical. And uh, uh, um, some it has been also been some other fund uh, during uh, system for the liquid metal. So 
now the little metal robot can achieve work around from each or even same colors. So, um, you know, the evolution of life um, actually is also very uh, interesting. And um, you live from a single, um, a single uh, cell to a complex um, organism from the sea to the land. And uh, the life on the world uh, have uh, evolved for more than 500 million years at present carbon based uh, materials and the light are mainly, are mainly um, occurred. And the little metal robot uh, actually since first only a few years ago. So in the future, whether there will be metal based light other than carbon based light, maybe someday it will come true. And uh, even in the future, whether the little natural robot like a software uh, dropped in the film Terminator 2, which can change it free, um, freely between liquid and uh, solid state, and can um, stretch through what can still still months uh, automatically even after being blood or by the um, the gunshot. So with more and more teams join the little metal users. I believe the future will bring us more supplies. So lastly, uh, I would like to make a summary. So little metal plays an interesting role in many applications and it will provide a fertile ground for future discoveries and uh, development. And uh, it was noted that we have a uh, uh, organized, uh, organized a uh, three uh, summit forum of little metal industrial technology uh, and uh, in 2015 and uh, 2016. And in 2017, uh, the Chinese Association of Science and the Technology called a little metal academic salon to focus to discuss how little metal can change the world. And uh, in the uh, Last year, Little Metal Session was first set in an international uh, smart material conference. Yes. Yeah. And uh, last weekend, the first summit forum of Little Frontier Technology was uh, held in Yunnan, and the Professor Jin Liu is the uh, chairman. And uh, we also noticed uh, several years ago that the uh, uh, real several teams uh, conduct little metal research. And currently, we are very happy to find more and more universities and uh, institutes join the little metal family. More teams, we do have more, uh, more teams work together to push forward the fundamental research and the, the little metal industry. So thanks for your attention. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, thank you, Wei. It's very wonderful work and a lot of impressive works. So we come to uh, this uh, question section. So the first question is from Beijing Institute of Lalit Energy and Another System, Arun Wang. Thank you for giving us wonderful speaking. How to avoid liquid metal oxidation when write the liquid metal on stretchable PDM film? What kind of re re solution can disappear liquid metal in a solution to form ink that can be printed directly? PVP or ligand 11 phosphon non diesel acrylate? It's, it's quite long. Yeah, it's quite long. And yeah. actually, I cannot see the, uh, I cannot see the, uh, the problem on the screen. So it, so, okay, you first a stop share, and then you can see that. Not yet. Okay, you touch this one. Yeah, yeah I, I like to repeat again. Okay, okay, that's okay. first. Yeah. Okay, first, okay. Yeah. 
How to avoid the liquid metal oxidation when writing the liquid metal on stretchable PMS film? It's mm -hmm. the first section. Mm -hmm. Have you got? Okay, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, the oxidation uh, phenomenon is a natural, is a natural reaction. It cannot, uh, it cannot be avoid, uh, avoided uh, completely. But uh, uh, in the application, we do use some methods such as, such as some uh, chemical solution, uh, acid, some acid or some alkaline solution. To remove the uh, to remove or reduce the oxidation of liquid metal. Okay. And uh, for the PDM, PDMS film, we can do some pre treatment yeah, with this uh, acid or alkaline solution. Okay. Uh, what time? Um, yeah. Um, Uh, actually, uh, most, uh, currently, most uh, modification for the liquid metal, uh, especially the nanoparticle, uh, the modification uh, cannot uh, uh, avoid oxidation. So usually, the liquid metal uh, um, particle ink cannot be connected uh, um, directly. And uh, usually, people will use some mechanical sensory means. Um, to to have um, connect the, the liquid metal um, um, the, the, the surface. Um, okay. And the second question: How a liquid metal fight with the gravity in vertical direction? Fight with uh, gravity. Um, I think I think this needs some um uh, um external. Um, driven force, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I mean the driven force, um, if they are larger than the gravity, so that can uh, uh drag the liquid metal in, in some moment. I think it depends on size, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For pounds of liquid metal, yeah, it's okay. too difficult, yeah. Okay. So the third question, what about the adhesion between liquid metal and PMS or other substrates? Well, uh, actually the adhesion between liquid metal and the PMS uh, is not bad. I mean, uh, especially when you do the uh, coating or when the PMS is in a semi-liquid semi or semi-solid condition. If you put the uh, liquid metal or coating, that the adhesion will be better. Yeah, uh, compared to the solid PDMS adhesion. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, first question: When oxidated in liquid metal can reduce the angle? Oh, that's because the the galeno oxidized their surface tension is much smaller than the bulk liquid metal itself. Okay. Yeah. So the uh, fifth one, nickel metal is useless. So how can we avoid its affection in cooling system? Okay. Uh, actually, um, there are several methods to uh, to avoid a uh, uh, corruption problem. Uh, we can do some uh, modification, uh, such as uh, I mean. Such as some uh, surface, surface treatment. Yeah. Mm. Uh, how to say? Uh, for example, uh, like some um, oxidation, uh, um, oxidation uh, of the surface. And uh, we also uh, use some, uh, I mean, some coating on the uh, on the inside wall of the of the uh, cooling system tube. And, I mean, um, currently the liquid metal uh, materials can uh, work with I mean, with within 500 degree, it can run separate. Yeah, but higher to this temperature, 
still, we still need to do some more. Have you tested the reliability of this coating? Mm -hmm. uh, Have you tested the reliability of the coating? Relationship. Reliability of the coating. Reliability. Reliability. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, we do. Uh, we do some uh, uh, reliability uh, uh, reliability test. For, uh, for example, to put the different metal um materials on the surface of the on, on different uh, on different uh, treatment surface for uh mean for three three months and uh, to observe whether uh, whether the surface uh, still have a intact uh, micro um uh, structure yeah. By the APM to see whether it was destroyed or not. Yeah, so we come to the final question. Professor Rao, wonderful work for the 3D printer of liquid metal. Is this already commercialized? Where can we buy it and how many inks available? Um, um, actually, we have a photo tank for 3D printer, but uh, um, all the other printer have been commercialized except this one. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe in the near future, yeah, it will come soon. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you for your uh, great work. So, Anis. Yes, I'm here. Okay, yeah, congratulations for everyone. Professor Zhang, yeah, I'm uh, so glad to, you know, give this certification to you for your wonderful liquid metal research connect the world and the universe. I think this also give everyone a big confidence for the future. We will use this technology, you know, to do everything. Yeah, especially we can make the, the robot. Yeah, if we can have that robot that can shape into any different kind of shapes, that will be uh, a lot of fun and a lot of things can be achieved. Okay, thank you very much. As you say that this is a soft, you know, material, even liquid material, but it is hot technology. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay, tonight I think we have done really, really, really great, you know, lectures. And the next week we will continue this liquid metal topic with the first speaker, Martin So. Yeah, Martin was uh, recently very, very famous in this field. Martin done a lot of nice work for changing the colors, you know, uh, to make the polymer metals. And he make uh, uh, nanoparticles on the surface and to changing the surface at, the, you know, any colors he want and even put in the plant, flowers, and many, many different uh, surfaces. Yeah, he is, uh, yeah, a magic guy. So. Uh, next week, the first speaker, Martin, will keep on this liquid metal topic. And uh, Jun Chen from UCLA will going to talk us uh, large scale, you know, textual sensors and how he made it and how he changed it and how he made it even like a smart, you know, coating, clothing. Yeah, we can uh, make a magic clock. And uh, uh, Makita Landry, as he from UC Berkeley, yeah, this pretty young lady will give us a story as using micro nanostructures to deliver the RNA and DNA, you know, uh, to the plant to change the plant's, you know, pattern and everything. So yeah, next week we will have these three speakers and young scientists on this stage to continue our magic of science. All of us are selected, all of them are selected by the ACS Nano Journal as rising stars. So we're looking forward next week and the probably as well, the journal's chief, uh, chief director will get on the stage again to, you know, introduce all these three wonderful young scientists and our stories will keep on going and we're looking for more. So this was next week's speakers. Uh, as I said at the very beginning, uh, I can ask you now, we already have uh, 
close to 200, you know, speakers and scientists on this stage. We special Thanksgiving to everyone, and we're looking forward to their wonderful talk and the wonderful contribution uh, because this came to the end of the year. So we will, we will get all these speakers on the stage and uh, December 18, the one week before Thanksgiving, uh, before Christmas. So we'll, we will have a I can ask, you know, talk show on this, you know, special day. So uh, we have the keyword here as breakthrough. All this technology breakthrough, you know, into the future. All this, you know, online talks break through all these boundaries of our whole world during COVID-19. We keep continual communication. We keep continual connecting with each other. We keep working, go ahead on this, you know, wonderful stage. So, and December 18, we will have uh, all speakers go together, you know, uh, summit for this year. So you're looking forward to that. You will meet all these wonderful speakers, all these 100 top scientists on stage again. That will be a big day. Please mark on your calendar. And we're looking forward to see you that time for everything. And if you have any questions to ask to these scientists, and if you ask any questions, that's welcome. We will put your question on that, uh, on the stage, you know, for all the scientists to answer that. We hope I can ask it can be a stage for everyone who loves science, you know, who loves the technology, who can, you know, hope technology and science can change the future on this stage. That's a day for everyone, for every uh, person from the whole world can join us together. So breakthrough on IKX, stay with us. And the December 18th, there will be your big day, my big day, and IKX big day. Okay. That's the end of today. We keep on going and we're looking forward to see you in next week. That's all. Thank you. Bye. Okay.